Hello everyone, hello and welcome. I'm so happy to be here with you today. My name is Isabel. I am your health and mindset coach and today we are talking about visualization. It is how it supports your goals and it is a very important step into manifesting what you want in your life. So today is all about visualization. If you are here with me live, make sure that you give me a thumbs up or a little heart so I can actually see you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will come back and circle back to them and answer them live. If not, I you can catch the replay and I will also answer any of your questions there. So today we are talking about visualization and how important it is in the steps to attaining your goals. So the visualization part of it does support your goal. And if you are having trouble with the manifestation part, it could be in this specific part. So visualization, regardless if your goals are health oriented or if they're lifestyle oriented, these are the two main categories in our life. If we do not have good health, we cannot enjoy a good lifestyle. If we do not have a good lifestyle, it will not support health. So these two are together. Now, if you want to have something specific, we want to break down the strategy into manifesting your goals. So what is all this all about? We're seeing it pop up more and more on the internet. And why is that? Well, personally, I think it's because people are so much more conscious of what is going on, of their environment, of their lifestyle, of what they want. Now, if you are noticing that happening around you, it might be a clue for you as well to get on board. People are setting goals. They're setting goals for themselves. They're setting career goals. They're setting financial goals. They're setting health goals. Now, specifically health goals, we don't want to wait till something serious happens health-wise for you to have goals. You can absolutely be in shape feeling wonderful and set health goals. Same thing for lifestyle, same thing for mindset, same thing for your emotions. We don't want to wait for the emotions to be all over the place or for you to be suffering from anxiety or depression to have um, emotional goals. So we want to look at your goals. It's important. Now, if it's not manifesting, why isn't it manifesting? There's specific reasons. It could be blocks. It could be limiting beliefs. It could be specifically because the strategy that you are using right now is not effective. Now, if it's blocks, if it's limiting beliefs, you want to work one-on-one -on -one with someone uh, so you can go Deep, dive deeply into there, find out why the blocks are there and get rid of them. If it's your strategy, you can try to apply all these things that I'm going to be teaching you right now. So the strategy, the strategy, we use strategies to do everything. We use a strategy to work out. We use a strategy to fall in love. We use a strategy to um, put savings aside. We use a strategy to motivate ourselves. There's a strategy for everything. So if you compare our brain to um, a computer, when you want to program something, you will use the keyboard, you will use the keypad and put in specific strategies and it will give you a result. The brain pretty much works the same and the eyes are the keyboard. So that's a little bit of NLP for you. And it's behind the scenes. But 
What's important to remember is we all use strategies to get what we want. If you are not manifesting what you want, there has to be a reason. Now, like I said, it could be a block. It could be a limiting belief. Maybe it's not something positive for you or for the people around you, or there's a problem with your strategy. So what is the strategy? Without going too deeply into it, the first step is finding stillness. You have to be calm. You have to be centered. You have to be anchored and you have to be feeling stillness. So the first part, stillness. Second, you have to have a goal, a positive, present goal. It has to be clear in your mind's eye what your goal is. The third, visualization. The fourth, intention. The fifth, action. And all this will give you manifestation. If you are lacking in one of these parts, you might not get the manifestation that you are looking for, or it might not happen at all. Now, how do you visualize? Some people are more visual, other people are more auditory, and other people are more kinesthetic. That means in the feeling part. Well, all of these are important in visualizing. So it doesn't matter if you can see your goal um, clear as day. Maybe you can hear it clear as day. Maybe you can feel it clear as day. Whatever your method with the senses, use it. So to properly visualize, you want to use all of your senses. You want to do it daily, every day day as often as you can. You want to put poor feeling into it. Make sure that you can totally, completely feel it. And you want to live it as of now. Hi, Susie. It's nice for you to join us live. I'm so happy you're here. And if you're just, just stepping on, I just want to tell you we're talking about visualizing and the importance of having a great strategy to manifest your goals. All right. So let me review once again, the strategy, the strategy. First thing is you want to go into stillness. The second, you want to have a goal. You want to have thought about it previously and you want to make sure that it's there. The third part, you want to visualize, you want to do it thoroughly. You want to make sure, step four, that you have an intention. You got to take action. Step five is take action. If you do all the rest and you do not take consistent, positive, moving forward action, it will not happen. And then you got to live it at a uh, pardon me, then it will manifest. Now, the specific part of this strategy that we want is the visualization of the strategy. So to visualize, you add everything in there. Now, if you need to dive more deeply into that, of course, you can reach out to me in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We actually go quite deeply into this because it is a very important and useful tool to um, make happen what you want in your life. There are specific strategies that are used to make it happen. Visualization is one of them. So in general, what you need to do to visualize once you have your strategy in place, your goal in place, when you're at the visualization, you will use all of your senses. You will use your sight. So picture it. You will use what you hear, add sound, volume, noise, music in your visualization. Add feeling to it. Add other senses. Maybe it's something that you feel. If you're thinking of being on the beach, maybe you want to feel 
the beautiful uh, wind blowing against your skin or in your hair. Maybe you want to feel the ocean um, just coming up against your feet. All right, use your senses. Do it daily, every single day. Put as much feeling, positive, happy, full of love kind of feeling and visualize as if it is now. So I hope this is helpful for you. Now, regardless what the goal is, if it's for a health reason, it could be, you know, you're going to be running a race soon and you want to come in at a specific time, visualize it. Maybe you're suffering from a huge health issue, something like cancer. Maybe you can visualize yourself being healthy. Maybe you can go inside your body and visualize your cells being healthy, being strong. Whatever it is that you want, visualization needs to be part of the strategy. Now, when it's part of the strategy, if all the rest is there, it will manifest. If it's not manifesting, there's a block somewhere, a limiting belief or a problem with the strategy. If you need to dive more deeply into this, if it seems like a huge chunk to reach your goals, be it health or lifestyle, reach out to me. We'll chat. We'll find something for you. I have a few programs available and there is something that will help you reach that goal that you really want to reach. All right. I really hope this is helpful for you. I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear about your goal. I would love to hear if you're manifesting or if you're struggling with manifesting it, why you think that is, and maybe I can support you in that way. It would be wonderful. All the details, the link, um, if you want to reach out to me and chat with me to see if one-on-one -on -one coaching would be your thing, the link is up there. Don't be shy. Try it out. If it's not for me, if I'm not the one who can help you, I'll let you know. And maybe I can point you in the right direction. If I can help you, I will. Absolutely. So with this, enjoy visualizing, enjoy manifesting, share, and I am going to wish you a fantastic day and end of week. Bye for now.